What's up everybody? On this episode of Roscoe's Reef, it's time for an update. So let's get to the tank and see what's going on. Okay, so on this week's update, I want to go through the tank and show you a few things uh, with the new camera. Uh, unfortunately, right now, I don't have a filter for it, so the lighting is going to be a lot of blues in it. Uh, as you can see here, you saw the fungia plates doing well, and so are the rastas. Um, right here, I'm showing this bright pink uh, polyp is the last remaining polyp of the utter chaos coral. So hopefully that lives up and keeps growing out. Right here, I'm showing the two favias, the neon green and the night before Christmas favia. And as you can see, the roundish edges on the night before Christmas favia is showing how it's growing. Right here, the button scoli is growing really, really a whole lot better now, as well as the purple and uh, gold and green candy canes, which have gone through a huge growth spurt and simply taken off in the tank. Now moving along to the left is the uh, zoanthid garden, which is, continues to do well and fill out those uh, pieces of Tongo branch I have it on. And moving up, you see here's the Hollywood Stunner Chalice. It's growing really good and um, I'm really happy about the continued success of the growth of that chalice. Of course, the purple digi and the red digi on top of the return are doing fabulous as ever. There's the uh, MP10 and I will have a review of that uh, coming up probably next episode. Right here the Monty Cap is doing well. Uh, a closer look of it shows that uh, the polyp extension is really great on it and you can see on the edges the light shaded is just the growth ring on the edge of the coral. Right here the red Setosa is doing really well and it's kind of filling out this rock more and more every day that goes by. The purple uh, Barney Coral you can see where the bleached out section was, uh, it's starting to fill in and the coral is starting to get more of a green fluorescent edge to it, which is covering that edge that was bleached out and the polyp extension is really good and the purple tips are coming back. So I have a lot of high hope for that uh, piece of acro. Now moving down, you see this piece of, of coral that was a uh, remainder of the encrusting green Montique once I moved it, so you never know what another coral can leave behind. Dropping down to the sand, here is the uh, Blastos and um, Wilsoni Symphilia um, coral. Both are doing really well, as well as most of the Acan garden. I really don't have any complaints about how the Acan garden is doing. Um, I feed them uh, mysis and Reefroids and they take it in and they continue to grow. Right there you see a, a red jawbreaker mushroom that has been growing back there. You can see the Aiken uh, Barrowbanki and uh, the Micromusa, which will, you'll get a closer look at in a few seconds. Um, I'm really happy about this part of my tank, as I said before. Uh, it fills out the sand and it gives the tank a lot of color up front. So, um, I have no complaints, again, at all about this section. Now, here's a closer look. You can see the uh, red jaw breaker mushroom in the back, and here's the Acan Barrow Banky. And showing, these are mostly the, the rainbow Acans that I have. Um, you can't really tell with the blue light on and without a filter. Here's the Acan Micromusa that is really filled out with the Reefroids edition and there is the uh, just a quick shot of the remaining corals in this section. Now no update could be complete without the look at the candy cane, the neon green candy cane that's the size of a softball right now. Um, it impresses me every day that how big that coral is. And of course, um, here's another rainbow Acan. And Junior here decided again to move on his own and move from the middle of the pagoda coral skeleton to the sand bed. 
It really amazes me how that one coral moves on its own because I've never experienced that with any of uh, Fungia plate. The pagoda coral in that corner, in that back corner that's underneath the shade of the rock, is holding on and still continuing to grow. I mean, as far as not dying out completely, so that's pretty interesting. The Leptastria or birthday cake coral has yet again spawned a new skirt. Uh, you could see just barely on the right middle how the one skirt was on the rock and now it's a whole new skirt. The Fiji Fire Zoas that are in the middle are hanging on and growing and um, so they're going to stay there. The green encrusting Monty is doing well and you can see in the back the light green polyps are now stretching more on that rock. Now next door to it, the cat's paw coral um, continues to do well. The polyp extension is pretty good, excuse the glare. I'm still getting used to filming with this camera still. Uh, but the polyp extension is, is really nice on the cat's paw and it just is a very, very slow grower. Now here is the first piece of the um, Euphelia section and this section has taken a hit lately. Uh, three of my pieces, well three heads, um, have, uh, <laughs> as the shrimp looks out and says, what are you doing? And I get a quick shot of uh, two more of the jawbreaker mushrooms with the, you can really tell here with the purple mouths. But back to the euphelias, as I look at the original uh, frog spawn that I ever purchased in the tank, uh, which is really doing well out of all of them. But I had three heads of euphelia, um, mainly the hammers came down with brown jelly and, and died. Um, the main colony of the frog spawn, as you can see, was irritated. That's not due to that due to my clownfish bothering it. That hammer in the back has lost one of the heads to brown jelly. Um, and you can see the white marks on the rock. That's from the pieces that I had to remove from the tank. The others, even though they're withdrawn a little bit, um, are still holding on and not forming anything. So I'm hoping it, I, I stopped it right there with just, those just the loss of those pieces. So now as I pan back and take a look at the fish that are all healthy and strong, I uh, just want to let you know that there will be a MP10 um, review video coming out as well as a frag swap video. So until then, this is Scott, and I'll see you all around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.